Hello and welcome to tutorial 10 for EdPy. In this video we're going to be talking about objects and classes. Now objects are a very important part of Python because Python is an object oriented programming language and what that means is that Python can create things which we call objects. Now objects are basically a way of holding both functions and variables in the same little ball and only having that ball talk to itself and then kind of back and forth a little bit to the main program. And what I mean by this is that a object is created to control its own variables. And the way we do this is we create a little blueprint for it, which as programmers we call a class. So to do this in EdPy, you need to use the class down here, and then you give your class a name and follow that by some semicolons. Then everything that you indent after that becomes part of the class itself. Now, every single class needs to start with an init function. Now this little function here is what happens when an object is created based on this blueprint. It runs this first little init function. So every single function inside a class needs to have self as the very first reference. That way the class knows that it is going to be manipulating its own variables and i.e. its self variables. Then in the init you can add any extra input variables you like and then you can do some work on those as the object is being set up. So as you can see in my little initialize here, uh, my object has two different variables inside. One is called tone and one is called duration. And when I start up my object, I'm going to give it the tone and the duration that it then stores and holds for later use in other functions as we go through and do other things. You can see here also that my class is a particular type of note and you can see that we have a note change so I can go through here and call note change, give it a new tone and a new duration and the variables inside just get updated one to one. But then the powerful things are the stuff down here where I have this function called note up which is basically a way of taking one note and iterating it up to the next note in the series. As you can see in the play notes here, we've got a whole bunch of notes. And if I continue to fill out this if else table, I could have it so that every single note would be transitioned up to the next note. And if it didn't actually contain an actual note in the tone, it would just add 1000 to the tone to give it a new sound that's slightly higher than the old one, or actually I think slightly lower in that case. Then I've also got speed up and speed and slow down, which cuts the duration in half or times as a duration by two. So times the duration by two obviously makes everything go slower. So that's the slow down and dividing it by two makes it go faster, hence the speed up. So then when we go to use this in an actual program, as you can see up the top here, I've declared a new two new variables. They are note A and note X. And then I've set them equal to note which is the class down here, and then a tone, and then a duration. So what this is actually doing is note A is running the initializer of the object or of the class to create a brand new note object, which I have now called note A. And then we do the exact same thing with note X. Uh, so in this time though, instead of creating a tone, based on one of the predefined EdPy tones, I've just used 2000 as the tone and I've used 3000 as the duration. So that is 3000 milliseconds that it's going to run for. And then we have down here, we actually use these to play a note. So first off, what I've done is I've just played note X and note A. So this is really simple. It's just play tone, note X dot note and note X dot duration. So this is the way you can access those variables from note X in the main program. Of course, I could have also created a function down here that says play note and that would have encapsulated all of this so that I didn't have to run those variables outside of the actual class or outside of the actual object itself. And then as we go down, so we play both of those notes and then we tell note A to speed up. Now this is quite important. This is the, the key power in an object system like this. When we say to note A, speed up, what's gonna happen is note A, just this top note here, is going to speed itself up, which means that note A is going to end up with a tone of note A6 and a duration of 1000. And then when we play 
both of these notes again, note A should be half as long as it was before, but there will be no change at all to note X. And this is the power of objects like this, is that an object only controls its own variables, which means you can create hundreds of the same type of object, but if you don't call the functions on particular versions of that object, they don't change. And that's exactly what would happen here as we run through and play this uh, program, it would literally just change the A note and not do anything to the X note. So there you go, that is a brief rundown and overview of objects in EdPy. Hope you have enjoyed that one and we will see you in the next video.